We're on the range today, ready to put the Beaver Fit range locker through its paces. Uh, before we start getting after it, uh, let me give you a quick tour and show you around a little bit. As we start over here, we got some of our fitness equipment staged. We like to get ourselves in a high heart rate environment, put a little smoke session in before we start engaging our targets. Next thing is to walk up here, you see we have the dual breaching doors. You can use ram, pry, breaching, swings from both sides. Uh, so I'm going to sneak inside and then we'll get into some more details. As we come inside, these things are badass. This is our unstable shooting platform. You hop on here, train to engage those stabilizing muscles so you can properly get your sight alignment, sight picture, hit that target every time. We got our barricades, our VTAC style barricades, a, a number of different apertures, various positions, even to the point we can get in the prone position to engage those targets. Let's hop upstairs, uh, take a look at some more of the features. Climb up the ladder here, there's a number of different drills you can do uh, as we're practicing climbing up the ladder in a tactical way. All right, we're up top now. Uh, as you can see, we have the same four training stations that we had down below. We actually put a ballistic roof on the container so you can have your muzzle down. The guys down below are still in a safe training environment. And each of these training stations is going to simulate a pitch roof or being on some sort of hill. And then the apertures here, completely customizable. This is just plywood, easy to take in and out. And we can change the type of apertures or the positions. And then on the platform itself, it can either be pitched or it can be flat. And the barricade can either be in the upright position or flat. We took the feedback from the field, the operators, and the tactical environment. We took all of their ideas, we're able to bring them to life and create something that did not yet exist. Today, going to be trying out some of our new products. Just if we really want to talk about this one, the unstable shooting platform. It's actually a pretty simple piece of equipment. It's basically two pieces of steel uh, suspended on the top by a couple of springs. And the whole idea here is that it's going to expose any deficiencies or weaknesses in your fundamentals of marksmanship. Everything from stance all the way through to trigger control, breath control, side alignment, side picture. It can be pretty wobbly at first, and especially if you're not paying attention or you don't have good awareness of your own body, it's going to throw you all over the place. But when you start calming down, controlling your breathing, engaging your stabilizer muscles, it'll start to settle. And then now you can start working, doing your regular range work, but just standing on top of this, mounting the weapon, doing transitions. But every time you move, it's going to start shaking you around. So you have to be conscious of your body the entire way through. It's long enough to even go prone. And it really forces you to pay attention to your body and what you're doing with it. So that's the unstable shooting platform. That's it. trying out some of our new products. I wanted to talk about our new Ram Pry breach door. We packed in a lot of functionality into a single training door so you can do everything you need to just on this one when you're talking Ram or Pry, manual or mechanical. So this door has a strike face on the outside and strike face on the inside here. With the two strike faces, and this removable jam that I just took out, which you can set, there's one on both sides, so you can set the door to be inward opening or outward opening. 
combining that with the two static faces allows this single door to be trained for inward outward opening, left hand and right hand opening, all in a single door. We really wanted to get a door that was going to accurately represent how a real door interacts with a Halligan tool when you're doing a pry breach. So what we did was take this section here around where the lock set goes and it's free floating inside of the door backed by compressible rubber. So when you're going in with the duckbill, it's actually going to compress inwards into the door, giving you an accurate action and allowing you to really refine your angle placement of the duckbill on the Halligan tool. that does not yet exist. And we do that by going out and talking to the operators, in this case, breachers, got their feedback, what they wanted in a door, and packed it all up 